Hi, everybody, and welcome to Good Day Arlington on NBC Sports Chicago, where we cover Arlington, horse racing, news, weather, sports, anything that's going on in the world. And we have a very special guest today. We have Charles Leno, Jr., who is the starting left tackle of your Chicago Bears. Alyssa, how are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. And uh, did you survive Friday the 13th? I did. It was Anything bad happen? No. Smooth sailing. That you know of, really? Are you superstitious? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I kind of am, especially at the racetrack. My dad, who's a trainer, has a horse in. Even if I think the horse is going to make a lot of money, I will not bet on the horse because I think that's bad luck. And I also always say knock on wood. Yes, you do. Like always. Yes, you do. You made me Are knock you? on wood yesterday. Am I? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, first of all, I'm crazy. Yeah. So. <laughs> we know. <laughs> she agrees readily. <laughs> uh, when I drive to work, if I, I usually drive the same route, even though I have a lot of different ways mm -hmm. that I can go. If I bet on a horse and it does well, I will watch the rest of the races that day from that exact spot. Uh -huh. I usually carry a penny in my pocket. Oh, wow. You, you have a list. I, uh, that's just the beginning. So uh, <laughs> we'll find out if Charles has some uh, superstitions. Yeah, I think there a are a lot of, at the racetrack, yeah. a lot in different sports, that's for sure. There is no question about that. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of fun at Arlington every weekend, but last weekend was particularly fun on Saturday when we had our food truck festival and our ride to the million with some of our major races. We're going to look back on it. First of all, we had the drone up in the air, and look at the people out there, the the popularity of food trucks amazes me, Alyssa. We had over 20 of them last week. Yeah, and there were so many people that came out to enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. The weather was great in Howard. I don't, I'm not one to stand in line for much, but these folks really wanted to try all the different food options out there through the trucks and stand in line. Great, great music. It was just a lot of fun. And then, of course, great horses on the track. And the hashtag there, uh, I-C-Y-M-I. -I. In case, in you, case missed you missed it. it. Don't miss it again. And here's a look at the horses. We had five stakes races, and you're going to see a lot of these horses on Arlington Million Day in the American Derby that was won by Real Story, trained by Ignacio Correas. May go on to the Secretariat. There are Alyssa and I uh, doing an interview out by the paddock area. Modesty was won by Daddy's Little Girl, was picked by yours truly and many others. Uh, headed to the yeah, Beverly. Yeah, yours truly meaning you and then everybody else because it was a huge favorite. It was the favorite. It was 9 to 5. That's not yeah. exactly huge. Wow, well, anyway, okay. The Stars and Stripes. We can continue our uh, argument when the show's over. Uh, Stars and Stripes, Cacho and Die. And uh, we might go on to the million, the Arlington Handicap. Divisadero was the winner there. there. We go. And Divisadero uh, was trained by Kelly Rubley, new to her barn. And there's Kelly right there with the trophy. And she is thinking about under strong consideration for the Arlington Million for this year. Divisadero, Divisadero impressive win. And what you didn't know it was that was my pick for the day, and that horse went off, I believe, at five to two. I purposely didn't note that I, because I, 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 I knew that you definitely would. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. All right, Alyssa, right now we're going to get our sports update as we do every week on Good Day Arlington, and we go downtown now to the studios of ESPN 1000 and pick it up with Fred Hubner. The Cubs opened their weekend set with the Padres with a come-from-behind 5-4 win in 10 innings. In San Diego, Anthony Rizzo batting leadoff to start the game had three hits, including the RBI double with two outs in the ninth to send the game into extra innings, where Javi Baez took over. Stealing second in the 10th inning, he goes to third in a throwing error. When the center fielder bobbled the ball, he came all the way around to score. With the win, the Cubs are percentage points ahead of Milwaukee atop the NL Central. Kyle Hendricks pitches tonight. White Sox got home runs from Omar Narvaez, Jose Abreu, and Leary Garcia. They beat the Royals 9-6 in the south side. Ronaldo Lopez starts this afternoon. Reports say those Chicago Bulls and former Simeon star Jabari Parker are working on an offer sheet deal. In soccer, the World Cup third place game today, Belgium against England, France and Croatia in the final on Sunday. Chicago Fire travel to Texas to face FC Dallas at 7 o'clock. WNBA, the Washington Mystics, beat the Chicago Sky 88-72. From the ESPN 1000 Sports Desk, I'm Fred Huebner. And I was very happy to see the White Sox put a win on the board because they're in rebuild mold and they're having a rough time this year. Thought they'd be a little better, mm -hmm. even though they knew they weren't going to do great this year. But it's nice whenever they put one on the board. And they did it yesterday. Alyssa, let's talk about our first race today is at 120. Let's talk about the weather, uh, what it's going to be this weekend. Yeah, Howard, gates open at noon, so you can come and join us today for a nine-race card. It's Art in the Park at Arlington. Something for everyone always here. Uh, the weather is kind of a little bit of a question mark. 
uh, we're getting to a high of about 83 degrees today. It's currently 76, and there are scattered storms in the area. But looking at the radar, I think they may be done around 1 o'clock, so uh, our race day will be perfectly fine. I think it is going to be perfectly <laughs> fine, and somebody's going to be perfectly fine because we have something to give away. Yes, absolutely. You can enter to win tickets, two tickets to our round and clear with a chance of hops, which means it's our whiskey tasting, including spirits and beer. You can go uh, to arlingtonpark.com slash GDA to enter to win, again, our whiskey tasting tickets, a pair of those. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's coming up next Saturday, July 21st. Definitely. You get that VIP ticket, arlingtonpark.com. A lot of things coming up at Arlington. And we're going to take a break right now before we get to Charles Leno, Jr. Hey, you don't want to miss Arlington's next party in the park on these Friday nights. The band rock and rolls after racing until about 9.30. The theme is rock and roll night, July 27th. And the best deal is the VIP ticket, info at arlingtonpark.com. And this portion of Good Day Arlington is brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka, the preferred vodka of Arlington International Racecourse. And up next, a very important piece of the puzzle for the Bears this year. Left tackle Charles Leno Jr. joins us on the set live on Good Day Arlington next. All right, who's the spokesman for the group here? I guess I'll be myself. I'm Kyle, joined alongside Charles Leno and Cody Whitehair. Uh, you got a question for either one of these guys? Yeah, well, uh, you know, since we're on the topic, talking about Arlington Racetrack, let's let's talk about who, who probably had the best insight into which horses we're going to win. That, was, that would be me, but go ahead. Yes. Yeah, I'll say that'd be me because I got the answer from him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would say we, you know, we knew that. Uh, Chuck knew, so we would always go to Charles, and um, you know we uh, we got a lot of information from him. Who's the uh, best looking? Me. <laughs> you see this hair, baby? Come on now. Welcome back to Good Day Arlington, and we're very pleased to be joined by a good friend of ours who frequents Arlington frequently, and that is uh, Charles Leno Jr., the left tackle of the Chicago Bears. Charles, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic, man. I love coming back to Arlington. Like you said, a frequent, you know, visitor. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. It's a good thing. It's a good yeah. thing, right? It's a good thing. It's, it's nothing but fun. Had you been to a racetrack before you came here? Um, yeah, I think I went to one in, when I was in Boise. That was went one time. Yeah. It was very small. Like, I don't know. It was not as nice as this place, for sure. 
Yeah, most of them don't look like Arlington, there's no doubt about it. And, and tell me, what have you learned about racing since you've been here, about wagering and uh, what the experience is like? Oh, well, wagering is probably the best thing. Now I know what a superfecta <laughs> yes. is and a trifecta. Um, always don't bet too much money on the superfectas because that probably won't happen. <laughs> it's a long shot. So that's what I learned about waging. But just coming to Arlington and the horse tracks, it's a, it's a really cool experience. You know, it's a, I love sitting out there on a, um, in a box and you can see Chicago skyline from when it's a clear day outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice event, a really nice venue. I think the other thing that you have learned is that uh, you can win because you've done pretty well. Yeah, I've done pretty well. Thanks to you. Okay, I was hoping you weren't going to say that. Oh, okay, I'll figure it out. Huge no. eye roll going on. No, on my end. what she meant is she's happy that you won. She was yes, not let happy. Yes, let me clarify. That you're giving him props thanks twice to now. Me. I okay. heard it at the beginning. Now I'm hearing it again. She thinks my head is too big on my, well, period. <laughs> but anyway. Well, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll get some answers from you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, that's that's good enough. Uh, Charles, you come from Oakland. Yeah. Um, what was your reaction? You were drafted in the seventh round. What was your reaction? When your name finally came up, and were you were you get, starting to get nervous that maybe this ain't going to happen? Oh yeah, absolutely. I remember, um, you know, sitting there, and I had to rally my family up because I was like, if this doesn't happen, we're going to go somewhere else. Um, but it happened, and it was just excitement and joy all over the house, all over with my family, friends in town, and you know, all relatives. So it was a really good experience. I read that you were uh, staying with Kyle Long and literally just on an air mattress, <laughs> yeah, right? Was, so like yeah. going from sleeping on an air mattress and wondering what your NFL career was going to hold, what was that transition like for you to kind of grasp in your mind, like air mattress to comfort, really? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, that, that experience was really good for me because yeah. it just, it kind of humbled me and made me understand like nothing in this league is given. Mm -hmm. Everything is earned. So you know, being on the air mattress at Kyle's place, some fun times there. Um, and now I have my own place, you know, <laughs> down the street from him, and he's a good friend of mine. So it's actually really cool seeing the transition from where I came to where I am now. Absolutely. So once you got into rookie camp and got out on the field and got a uniform on, were you confident then that you could make it as a pro? Um, yeah, absolutely. With the preparation I put in and the work ethic I have, I just kept working and grinding every day. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to, you know, settle for just being in the NFL. I wanted to make a name for myself in the NFL, and I'm still continuing to do that. And you do work hard, and you earned, and I do mean earned, a four-year contract, which seventh-round draft picks, you know, don't usually get rewarded like that. So congratulations on that. Thank you. I think you're signed for a few years. Now three more? Is that uh, right? Well, I got, I'm starting the contract Oh, now. you're starting the contract 2021. right now. 2021. Right. I read 2021. So my question is, uh, <laughs> did you splurge on anything when you got the contract? Oh, well, you're going to put me on blast if I don't say this right now, huh? <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, you can, you yeah, can I got, the fifth. So, I, yeah, I would, I would say I'd, I would splurge, but I basically just got a house and car and helped some of my family members out. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Uh, when you stayed with Kyle, uh, obviously you became pretty good friends. What did you learn from him about football? Because he's obviously an outstanding player. Yeah, passion. Um, just really passionate about the game. You know, everything he does is all all with aggression. He, um, he wears an emotion on his sleeve out on the field, but it's a good thing. It works for him very well. Sure. What was the transition like going from college, though, to, to pro? Um, it was really different. Um, faster. Um, you know, grown men. You're going against grown men who are – working for a job. This is their job. This right. is not college anymore. So you have to understand that lives are at stake. People are providing for their families out there. So you have to take it with a serious uh, intent. That's an interesting perspective. All right, Charles, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and put you on the spot with some more questions in a couple of minutes. You're ready for that. You Absolutely. can handle anything, I think. <laughs> and are you looking to make an addition to your family? Come to Arlington July 28th for horses and hounds, one of Alyssa's favorite days. There will be adoptable dogs to check out and ways to help support retired racehorses. Horses and Hounds, brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka. This portion of Good Day Arlington brought to you by the Daily Herald, featuring the best local coverage of news, weather, and sports, the Daily Herald, and next more with the Bears' Charles Leno Jr. And we might check out a little more of his horse racing knowledge.
to know you're going to be put here in a Chicago Bears uniform for a lot of years? Honestly, I signed here because I knew I was going to be playing next to these guys. Honestly, man, like it's just the culture that we're building here. You know, I love it, and I just want to be here for a long time. Welcome back to Good Day Arlington Live on NBC Sports Chicago, and we are visiting with uh, the left tackle of the Chicago Bears, Charles Leno Jr. And Charles, I was asking you questions when I came out last year to camp. Yeah. Um, are you sticking? Your, are you still the best looking guy on the offensive line? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you thought about I it. I to think about it. For I a like that. Time. That's because the other guys aren't around. You can say that. <laughs> um, um, who's the funniest guy on the line? Funniest guy on the line. Man, we got a lot of Who makes guys. you laugh? We just, Earl Watson, he makes me laugh a lot. Uh -huh. He's a very funny guy. Um, he just, we just acquired him um, through free agency. Cody Whitehair is funny. He makes, you can talk to him, and he may not seem like a funny guy, but he is a hilarious guy. <laughs> um, Kyle, he's just so outgoing. Everybody in our off offensive line, just in a whole, is just a, a funny ragtag bunch of guys, you know? Yeah, and then you have a new quarterback. He well, played last year quite a bit, but I mean, you have Mitch, Mitch Trubisky. Um, uh, what kind? Of, I mean, it seems like he was out here at the track with a bunch of the offensive linemen. Seems like he's fitting in, and it looks like his future is uh, really unlimited. It looks t like he could really be good. Absolutely. Uh, if he just keeps working every day, you know, like you said, the future is bright for the man. You know, unlimited. You don't know where he's going to go. Mm -hmm. So just keep doing what he's doing, coming in with a great work ethic. Um, leading our offense, mm -hmm. keep doing those things, and sky's the limit for them. Howard, you mentioned you were talking to Charles and those uh, previous last year training camp. What's training camp like? What do you, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of work, Well, obviously. yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. That's the first thing I thought of. But actually, I like training camp because <laughs> okay. I think it's fun. It's, uh, I think it's fun if you take in an aspect of this is something that you can improve on. This mm -hmm. is like where you get better. This is where you continue to make the gains to be a better professional, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I take that very seriously. I want to go out there and be the best, so I make sure I take the training seriously and I go out there every day. And even though how hard it is, how hot it is, how tiring it is, that doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I just want to be the best and I want to work for that. Sure. You can see number 72 is Charles Leno. Alyssa, do you know the most famous bear to wear 72? No. Charles, do you do? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> ah, got you guys. I, huh? I should have. Ah, yeah. yeah, you should have. I was Sorry not ready that. for that. Uh huh. Uh, no, you weren't. You may be, but uh, before you was the fridge. Hey, yeah, Curry. he has one of these, right? So that's what matters. Oh, yeah. William yeah. Perry has a yeah championship ring. You know, it's funny. You weigh what? Right around three hundred. Yeah, yeah. You know, when the fridge was playing, and here Alyssa will say, "Ah, oh, here he goes back into the '80s." But when fridge was I'm playing. When he was when he weighed 300 pounds, I mean that was considered like a, a large, huge man. guy. Thus his nickname. And yep. now, I mean, how big are some of the guys on the line? 320, 330, 340, 350, wow. 360. I mean, I, I got. I'm thinking of guys that I go against, guys on our team, and just how big they are. Mm -hmm. And I look at myself. I'm like, wow. I can't believe you're 50 pounds heavier, heavier right. than me. You know, and it's just crazy. Wow. You know, I can remember uh, covering the team when you'd report to camp, and there'd be guys coming in carrying, like, uh, you know, entire mattresses on their shoulders, huge screen TVs, yeah. microwaves. You wouldn't believe it just to move into a dorm room. What do you take? Well, this year I'm probably going to take a small duffel bag filled with underwear, <laughs> shorts, and T-shirts, and a bike. And that's about it. There you go. Yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to take much. The minimalist. The, yeah, I'm going to be very simple. I'm there for work, and that's about it. You that's know? Like. Do it. Absolutely. <laughs> Charles, what does it mean, though, for you to be a Chicago Bear? I mean, it's a lot, man, the tradition. Think about it, Chicago Bear. Like, that's a, that's a household name right mm -hmm. there, you know. Um, it feels really good representing this team and going out there to this city because mm -hmm. the city of Chicago, man, talk about passion, talk about fans who really really would tell you how they feel uh and i love it though i love the i love that uh that pressure on you because you know pressure busts pipes or makes diamonds right uh last question uh you go from you're a mild-mannered guy pretty uh mellow yeah. off the field how do you flip the switch when it's ready to get tough and you got mean guys across the line that are trying to tear your head off or worse yet tear your quarterback's head off yeah <laughs> so the flip of the switch is it's always it comes with preparation throughout the week. You know, um, you're not. I'm never going to be ready for a game until I study the opponent, until I prepare for him, and stuff like that. So I try to get all the preparation in, the practice work in, 
And once once Sunday comes and I put that helmet on, it's go time. That's when it that's when the switch comes on because it's no going back after that. Right. No going back. All right, Charles. Well, thank you very much. You're a fun guest, and uh, the people are going to have fun meeting you tomorrow on Chicago Bears Day here at Arlington. So thank you. Uh, have fun tomorrow. Get some winners, and uh, we'll see you at training camp. I will okay? come see me for the winners. We definitely you will. will. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. So you come see. Yeah, come see her. I think that's the way it's going to go. All right, we're going to take a break now. Our last break. And Good Day Arlington is brought to you in part by a Lake Zurich Institution. International Hair Design. Say hi to Bruce and Dawn out there, and they will take care of the kids, adults, International Hair Designs, the official hair and makeup artists of Good Day Arlington. And next, the evolution of concession foods at Arlington. Alyssa tasted one of the best foods we've ever had here. That's when Good Day Arlington continues. Welcome back to Good Day Arlington Live on NBC Sports Chicago. Howard Sudbury along with Alyssa Ali, and that was fun, wasn't that it? That was a lot of fun. Chicago Bears Day again is tomorrow. You can meet Charles Leno Jr. Uh, for an autograph signing session tomorrow at Arlington. But Howard, we're going to talk about food now here. And Charles was, ta was talking about how hard it is sometimes to hit a Superfecta, but we have a place called Superfecta Grill at Arlington, and you don't have to study. You're just going to go up there, and you're going to win. Well, here at Arlington, of course, it's all about horse racing and food. And we're going to talk about the evolution of concessions really here at Arlington. It's no longer just the normal hot dog and burger. Here at Superfecta Grill, managed by Levy Restaurant, we turn concessions into gourmet. Chef, you've really, you know, really brought the game to a higher level at Superfecta Grill, especially. Uh, it's on the main level. Anybody can walk up and get to it. Let's talk about kind of your, your thought process and what you wanted to offer our guests. So nationwide, um, you got your top sellers, hot dogs, chicken tenders, uh, and burgers. Uh, but we'd like to get away from just offering those as a streamlined option and offer some premium choices as well. So um, I guess this would be our, our most accessible point to begin that transition and still offer the others that the guests are going to be more familiar with. Yeah, so they're still there, but if, if you want something a little bit like higher end and heartier, they're here at Superfecta Grill. Let's talk about the special uh, at the month of July, which I'm very excited for because Unfortunately for myself, I have become a pescatarian since May, which means I am only eating fish. So I'm very excited about this burger that's on special at Superfecta Grill. Tell us about it. Uh, so the special is kind of a nod to a Chicago restaurant, one of my favorite burger joints, Umami Burger. Uh, so they have this terrific burger that we just kind of give a nod to. Um, it's an homage to them. Um, so it's a delicious burger. You can cook to order. Uh, but the, the, the kicker on it is it's called the Impossible Burger. It is uh, completely vegan from the bun to the burger patty. And you can tell too, we were, we were talking about it before we went on camera though, it really does like, it looks like meat. If you were talking to a meat lover who was like, I'm never going to try a vegan burger or veggie patty, what would you tell them? Um, that really it's not even advertised as such, so hopefully we catch people off guard. Um, if, if you weren't told that it was a vegan or vegetarian patty, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't really likely be able to tell. I, I completely believe that as well. So here at Superfecta Grill, though, many, many options. What else would you recommend to our guests at Arlington enjoying a day at the races? They want to grab something at Superfecta. Uh, so we've got some specials that we keep around. We've got a delicious milkshake special this month. It's a uh, salted caramel pretzel, uh, the calamari. Uh, we try to keep things fresh and light, so there are plenty of offerings over here. Uh, bib salads. Uh, every once in a while we'll do some watermelon things. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite right now is the calamari. You can't beat it. <laughs> you definitely can't because I've already started picking at it. I hope... Uh, it doesn't ruin our editing process. But Chef, thank you so much. I'm excited to dig in. Thank you. That is so good. Meat lovers will still absolutely love it. But, hey Rosa, could I get an Arlington Ale, please? Thank you. <laughs> what, it's vegan. <laughs> Take 10. 
I love the cameos in there. That's the way she starts every day at Arlington Ale. Oh, and come on. You know what? I tasted I it. I would only be hey, so lucky. Hey, I'm, I'm a meat lover, and that is one of the best things I've ever had here. You could never tell it's not a burger. It is fabulous. It is so, so good, Howard. You're right. So check out all of our wonderful options at Arlington anytime you come. We're racing all the way through September 22nd. But, Howard, speaking of racing, let's take a look at one on today's card, the seventh race. Again, our first race off at 120. You still have time to join us here. I'm going to try to help Charles. Charles, I'm going with the number 12 in the seventh race. Oh, you're on the outside on the turf yeah. course. That'll be kind mm -hmm. of tough. I'm on the one running Vicky in this one. Three to one on uh, morning line on the one, four to one on mine. We're going to see what happens, though. A nice full field going forward. So, again, 12 for me. Howard's on the one in the seventh race today. But let's check in with our track announcer, John G. Dooley, right now for a sneak peek of next week. Next week on Good Day Arlington, Howard and Alyssa are joined by former Chicago White Sox player manager Ozzie Guillen to discuss horse racing, Chicago White Sox Day, and more. All right, big weekend here. First race comes up 120 today. We have a big race card. Tomorrow, Chicago Bears Day. Yeah. And we have something going on today. Yes, today, art in the park, so come on out and join us. We do have a paint and sip VIP ticket where you can... Uh, have some painting instruction, have a couple glasses of wine. So always, Howard, there's something for everyone here at Arlington. And of course, enjoying the racing on the track with our beautiful equine athletes and, of course, our human athletes of the sport, the jockeys. And the Arlington Million is August 11th. Get your tickets at ArlingtonPark.com. Thanks a lot to Charles Leno, Jr. of the Bears, for joining us. That's it for Good Day Arlington. We'll see you next Saturday at 11 a.m.